Hey everyone, what about here and welcome back to some more Inkbound for the 1.1 update. Uh, it's just adding a couple of extra bits, some more vestiges, some more cosmetics, and the ability to do here. Let's take a look at it. You can do author challenges now, so you can actually turn on various bonuses or minuses. And these might actually be separate things. I don't know what they do. Oh, start with blink. Start with zero movement per turn. You can't gain any movement. Oh, that's interesting. Um... I don't think I want to do an author challenge, though. How do I... How do I not? This is not right-click? No. Uh, inkwell? Oh, just regular inkwell dive. I see. So you just choose between the two. That makes sense. I'm probably just going to stick as a regular run, but you can now, like, do custom modifiers to make things more interesting. Can you do multiple? No. So it's only one at a time. That's kind of neat. And they do give you bonuses for completing them, which... I mean, I could. It wouldn't be the worst idea. Start with glass cannon, lose half your HP, enemies have glass cannon. Okay, fine. Let's let's try one of these author challenges just for the heck of it. A challenging run. Try your best to survive. So I'm going to be playing as the Praetorian, which is like the spear user. I think I've only done one run with him so far, and I don't think I'd really understood it originally. But I think now I've got a better idea. So who do we want to go after? I don't really know. Who's my favorite to fight? I guess is the easy answer. It's like Cinder or Shadow of Runestone. Runestone can be hit and miss. Cinder can be really funny. Let's go Cinder. Maybe it's this way. Though in retrospect, Cinder is actually maybe a bit of a mistake because it's one of the only ones with like guaranteed damage, but we'll be fine. So I'm going to try and go for a bleed build as well. Let's go to the Vengewood. That might have been a mistake. Oh well, that's gonna be this whole video. Huh, that could have that could have been a mistake. But it's fine. Okay, Tarnit Vault, what do we have? On turn start, Hex, on turn start, Frostbiter, on turn start, gain. What is Executioner? Hex and Shattered now ca causes damage to increase by 35%. Eh, yeah, it's okay. Let's reroll, see if I can do a bit better. First turn, bindings do extra damage. So that's Ambusher. I have been, I, I like the idea of going for an Ambusher build. Yeah, let's go for it, if it'll let me. And what do we want? On teleporting to Spear, gain shield, gain crit damage until end of turn per enemy hit, or extra damage and crit chance. All of these are good. I think I might go for Deadly Whirlwind. Uh, let's see, so what do we want to do? Two Tarnish Vaults, right. They redid kind of the itemization system for the 1.0 update. All right, so let's figure out how this works. So if I teleport here, we get the bonus. Then we do a sweep and then hit him. Well, that was great. If we do bonus damage on our first turn, which is incredibly useful. On your turn, reduce your highest cooldown by one. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna need that. Let's see. So on turn start, four stacks of poison to 10 random enemies. Poison, blood, and venomous. If I wanted to go hard left turn into a poison build. The main problem is this is not a poison build. So on your first turn, gain a stack of blur around. Entering book two, vestige gains omni damage and one shielding. And catalyst is interesting, but let's go for elusive whisper. And what do we want to grab? Probably cleave. Restoration wouldn't be a bad idea since I'm low on HP and I somehow took some damage. I'm not actually sure how I took that damage. I think I'm still going to stick with Cleave, but we might potentially be in trouble. Uh, free Binding Augment. Opportunity to purchase another. I think it's based on purple now, but I've only got two purple, which is a concern. I think we go for the Vestigial Shrine. I think we want to just munch Elusive Whisper. Because if I can get Ambusher up to even level 3, that goes kind of far. There is also Expert Binder, which is good. But no. Let's go for that Ambusher combo. So, yeah, probably Superior Vault. 
Another potion, which I should actually use them. I'm really bad about using potions in these games. I usually hoard them until it's too late. This seems like a great round to potentially use it. Why am I taking damage? It's not the... Yeah, why am I being hurt? I wish I could actually see what the authored mode is doing. Because the problem is, looking at this... Oh no, it was, it was like an AoE I was in or something. remaining will yeah but what what am i going to do with it you know it's got to be something to do with avenge wood probably yeah i got to keep an eye on that cuz otherwise i am going to die so we could get oh discharge target an enemy convert all kinetic charge to deal damage or grant an ally stacks a barrier on moving gain kinetic charge converts into magic damage or shield end of turn lose half stacks at 25 stacks gain a shield it's certainly interesting, I just don't know if it vibes with this run. We could go for the money. I was really hoping I could grab heal, but alas. Alright, smoke bomb. Okay, any of these ambushers? No. A verdant sprout would get me some healing. There's... Spear of the Gods, which is just physical damage, movement speed. I don't hate that. Let's go Spear of the Gods. And then what else do we have? Upon hitting, apply a stack of bleed. Thaumaturge. He's not amazingly good with his current setup. Okay, do we want to do another Vestigial Shrine? I mean, I could munch for Mythos. We could munch for Thaumaturge, or we could munch for Striker. Spear of the Gods would not be the worst idea. Because we don't lose any power this way. Let's see, Uncommon Augment. Glyph Globule. I kind of need those Glyph Globules, but oops. Alright, we get a potion. Hey, same potion. Alright, let's actually pay attention this time. Somebody was hurting me. Blazing Barrier upon. Oh, it's him. That's the one who is hitting me. Let's leave the orb for the next round. We can be patient. Okay, anything else? No. I have remaining will, but what am I going to do with it? We might want to increase my max HP, though. Everything having glass cannon is kind of funny, though. It's just also very risky. Uh, so that would give me more mythos.
I don't give me more Misery's whips. Yeah, sure, we might as well just stack a bunch of those. So, upon teleporting to the spear, inflict marked. Sure, I'll grab that. Uh, let's see. Sea Breach, Binding Empowerment. We gotta go for the Sea Breach. I don't have enough resources to buy another Augment. Minus Will Reserve for three combats gain a random Ascension. Minus Will Reserve is terrifying. But the random Ascension... Oh, so, okay, so it boosts, boosted that. 75 damage, double the nearest, double to the nearest enemy. Inflict one stack of bleed to the nearest enemy. Gain a crit charge at the beginning of each turn. Interesting. I think losing the will was probably not worth it, but... Eh. Okay. Goofed this one. Upon hitting, inflict a stack of burn. It would work with Thaumaturge. I like the idea of the Flaming Fist, however... I think we want the Chalice of Champions. Because that's... On consuming an item in combat, gains 20. That might just be... Permanent? Snag that. Okay, so we're going into a boss fight with reduced will, which is a little worrying. Okay, can't do anything else, unfortunately, for me. We'll just wait. Oh, but we did do a, a ton of damage to him. Snag the power orb. Warp. Hit him. Grab that for reasons, mostly to kill cooldowns, and then we wait. Okay, do a spin. Hit him with dazed. Have the power orb. Warp there. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, and I don't die, but it does hurt. And then all I have to do is just take him out. Perfect. Yeah, everybody having glass cannon is fascinating. I might actually get rid of it. We get a stylish treasure. We get a celestial shard globe. I thought for a second that was going to like replace my face, which would be really funny. Ooh, crimson edge. Deal damage, double the far enemies, gain two bleed damage per far enemy hit. Much as I want this, we're going to go for Endless March. Okay, smite enemies, target all enemies. I think we're just going to go for that. It seems reasonably useful being able to just nuke the entire area. Oh, so we have... Oh, so we just have two of these Vestige Extractors permanently. So, it's halfway tempting... To eat those. This way we get swift and we get closer to having maxed mythos. Um, every two combats gain a random epic vestige. And then what else do we want to eat? Ink flat. I could get uh, decayed binding. But I think we'll eat one of the misery misery's whips. 
that guarantees us Thaumaturge and gets us closer to Eviscerator. And we want to go back to the Derelict Starship. Because I've still got a silly amount of objectives dedicated to that one space. Or this this one level. Uh, no. Well, he doesn't have anything useful to say. I don't know why he'd still be here, but whatever. Okay, rare augments, superior vaults. Let's go for the rare augments. We could really use more of those now that we're here. So I might as well mention also that if you have not have not picked up Inkbound yet, uh, huh? There's a slot for a. Oh no, it's a potion, of course. I'm a goofus. Well, yeah. Let's start with a smoke bomb. Grab that. Which of these is going to do the most amount of damage? Actually, this one. That makes it easy. Uh, but yeah, Inkbound's 40% off if you haven't picked it up before. Uh, it is genuinely one of the best roguelikes I've ever played. I can see why some people are like, eh, on it. But for me, I just... It's just... How would I describe it? I know. It's just a lot of fun. There's so much build variety that you can do with it. And the fact that it is... Very fun, both uh, single player and multiplayer is neat. So, I see. So, this scales physical and magical bindings. Problem is, I don't actually know how many. Ah, so that's my one magic binding. And yeah, not going to be able to do that. Let's go for one reroll. token of regret would kill me. Be funny, but would kill me. I could go for the Verdant Sprout. Oh, and we also get a Bone, cal bone Calcifier. Upon defeating an enemy with Impale, gain two Vigor. Ooh. So that's some healing right there. There's also just Devastating Smoke Bomb. Upon hitting enemies, restore one HP for every enemy hit. Sure. Snag those. Probably go to the Sea Breach. I have no other choice. Okay. Do we spend money? Sure. Chal... Okay. We have two chalices of champions. That's really good. It does also kind of change how I want to do this. Rare augment, big quilling cage. Do I want the money? I think I do. I do like the augments, but let's, let's go for the money here. Actually, in retrospect, I'm not sure if that was the correct call. I'm just gonna make that vulnerable, kill it. So because we have two of these, I'm gonna be just scaling my Omni damage. The fact that that does so much damage is just working out endlessly in my favor. Okay, he's doing Amplify. Taking increased damage, uh, Kablam? Okay, let's just go over here. And hit him with my spear. Oh, he changes targets. Good to know. So if I do that, we get velocity. We do 10,000 damage. Well, that feels good. And 50 stacks of vigor. Oh, boy. That's fable. Lo upon losing HP, game... Mm. None of these are really good. 
That's Curios. We do have the Whetstone. First turn, all bindings gain crit. Sure. What do we get rid of for that one? Bird and Sprout. And Binding Tuner. Let's go for Cluster Bombs. Because we already have the Augment that makes it hit, uh, target all enemies, uh, that might actually just result in infinite cascading death. And Binding Empowerment would be nice, but we actually have to munch some of these. What do we want to do? Frankly, I think I might just munch the Bone Calcifier. I don't think I need any more Glyph Globes. So we're just going to go for the money. I'm going to see if I can keep boosting this Smoke Bomb so it becomes truly goofy. Okay, this might hurt me a bit, but... Whoop. Worth it. Okay. Can I hit all three of them? It gets me in my health. What am I going to do? There's no enemies left. Okay. Eh, my health's doing kind of fine. Pressurization tank. We need it. Oh. Contrition of Alira. Like, the sad part is this is supposed to be a bleed build. Oh, I can't get rid of Glass Cannon. Interesting. Let's see. None of these are ambushers. Some of these could be good, but I think we just leave it. Grab the barrier potion. Grab the money, and I gotta remember to use some of my abilities. Uh, let's see. I think we need to go to the lab. I want to go to the vestigial shrine. Actually, do we need, need to go to the lab? Because, no, I think we just need to anchor the starship five times. Okay, so let's go to the vestigial shrine. I can come back for that heroic vault. Big ups. Grab the fish, eat the fish, and gotta remember to hoover up both potions. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go for the whetstone just to get the reaver bonus. Okay, then we're gonna go back here. Grab this vault. Could go for the reaver bonus, but that's not huge. I'll do one reroll. We already have Mythos, so we don't need it. And I'm not going to be getting rid of any of my other Mythos things. Because I've just got the two Chalice of Champions. I actually wish I could check this. But yeah, none of the other ones are giving me the book. We could get rid of the Contrition of Alira. So yeah, let's get a second Whetstone. Something else to munch. Uh, let's see. Potion Supply. Can't do anything with it. Can't use that again. And we're going to a shop. Does that mean we're almost done? I can flick shatter. On turn start, full cost cooldown. That's not amazing. Teleporting this spear, gain more velocity. Shatter. 
I'll grab the Empowering Spear. Okay, and store value. Problem is none of these are really that helpful for me. Is this the boss fight already? Wow, it is. I guess it makes sense. Whoop. Okay, I've got some will. Get him with that? Nah. Let's get him with a big spin. And then we end turn. Go with that, because that gets me some HP back. And the big spin. Oh, can I still not... No, no, I can still hit him. I guess I gotta do the Vigor Potion as well. Yeah, I cannot forget. I need to use these. Okay. Attack three times. Ooh. This is cleave. Three times for a bunch of damage to every single enemy. Each attack it flicks five stacks of bleed or bleed and hemorrhage. Nah, let's go for eviscerate. We have a potion of power. Cost will. Gains 30 damage. First time used every turn. I think I'm going to go for the devastating smoke bombs, though. Um, can I go back? No, I cannot. I was really hoping I'd be able to pick up uh, that one potion. Because, yeah, that was the previous location. Fy on me for hoarding potions, but whatever. We're already at full health. We're good to go. I'm going to have to do a second run in this video. That's fine. I kind of expected that. Oh, but... Is there no muncher? There's no muncher. I miss being able to infinite munch all of your items, but I also recognize exactly why you can't do that anymore. All right, let's do this. Hello, cube. Goodbye, cube. I don't know who's firing that AOE, but um. Oh, that's what it do. Okay, just get that. Anything else? Eh, vomit to hell. Perfect. Okay. Pun hitting an enemy inflicted with a burn, frostbite. Don't care. Abandon a Tumbra. Turn start, summon a one max HP enemy bit inflicted with prey. What? We kind of need the pressurization tank. I think we get rid of the contrition of Alira. Blessed brick stones. All right, fine. Fine, we'll grab smiting spear. It doesn't really fit the build, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, save our money. The yeah, main question is, do we want Contrition of Lyra? Nah, I think I'm good. Okay, and we do have a muncher. We have two munchers here. So that's great. Grab the pressurization tank. Actually, don't know if we want to do anything with that yet. 
go back here because I might be able to grab something useful. More Reaver. More Swift. More Curios. I don't want to spend too much, so let's grab Wit's Blood Boiler. Okay, magic damage. There is just a second Blessed Brickstones. It's legitimately tempting. Yeah, on dealing bleed damage, gain a stack of vigor. I think we're just gonna eat that. Cause yeah, let's just go Blessed Brickstones. I'm assuming most of these fights are going to be over in a heartbeat. Just because, uh, just, I do so much damage. All right. Hit with that first. Next attack does double damage, stuns him immediately. Uh, do I have a stack of the bads? I have no idea gonna grab it anyway. Cinderpox required. Alright. Probably do the teleport to the spear, gain the velocity, do the spin. Now do I have Cinderpox? I still don't. And we stun him out of it. This is just mean. Poor boss thought he would have a chance. And this, frankly, is why I like Ink Bounce. You get the right build going and it becomes stupid. I've always wanted to do a Chalice of Champions run. And to get two in one go and just massively increase my damage, it's nonsense. And that's part of the beauty of it. Wow, we made a lot of progress there. Oh, and of course we've, because we've completed these, we get a bunch of vestiges. So I also get a trinket key. We unlock new ability, uh, new vestige, couple of new vestiges. Bunch of new vestiges. And then also some cosmetics. And some vault dust, which, uh, we get not only for completing the run. Game client is out of date, must be updated. Oh, dang. All right. Okay, so after that banger of a run, uh... I mean, I guess it was kind of cheatsy because it was glass cannon, so everything went down in, like, seconds. But after that banger of a run, I figured it's time that we try uh, Weaver. It's not my favorite. Oh. On your turn, inflict two stacks of frostbite and four stacks of burn to enemies with threaded. Huh. I could go for that. Sure. I want to go for a smite build. But that's a pretty good... Companion to it. Tarnished Vault. Yeah, let's just get some... Give me some items. See how this goes. We're getting a lot of potions right off the bat. I'm liking this right from the get-go. Okay, so these things explode on defeat. Oh, that should be easy enough to work with. Do you wanna... Nah. Bring them all together. Okay, so he's gonna blow up. We can avoid some of this. Because I think we gain shields equal to the amount of... Eh, you know what. Hit this guy. I should be able to kill him. There we go. Now we take no damage. Here we gain shields uh, based on the number of characters. Yeah, each thread grants one shielding. Though that might be at just at the beginning of the turn. Hard to say. Okay. One way or another, that worked out reasonably well. So that's Ambusher. We don't need that. Teeth on a string. Upon defeating an enemy, restore two H 1 HP up to two times per turn. So that does, does give me Treasure Hunter, which is not terrible. Yeah, sure. 
I'm going to be kind of pulled in a bunch of different directions here, unfortunately. So we do also have Unclaimed Boon, which is kind of nice, uh, if I want to go for the Mythos set. I currently don't have anything that pushes me in that direction, though. But let's grab another Silenced Metronome instead. And then we want to grab Invocation, because that's even more Smite. I want to do some Frost and Burn, probably. Destroy something, get double... Mmm, that's tough. Because what I could do... Okay. Hot take, I think we're going to go eat teeth on a string. Sounds horrifying, actually. But this means anytime we find a treasure pot and I kill it, I just gain 10% uh, bonus damage forever. Um, and then if we can get one more of those and munch it, we get a lot of treasure pots. We'll have one per fight, and we'll just be able to scale our damage naturally based on that. Which, uh is pretty good. Okay. Only immediate problem is I'm probably going to take a lot of damage doing this. But whatever. Whoop. Yeah, might as well snag that. And then do I have anything else? No, I do have a barrier potion so I don't take some damage. But I think we'll be fine. It's threaded, it'll take some damage. And we can kill it on the next turn. Okay, let's move here. So I do also have... I got a couple of things. Uh, lead with that. Go with that. Grab one of these. Do this again. Kill them both? Okay, and we're still going to take 8 damage here, which is not the greatest for me. Let's just pop the potion. Take nothing, make it work. Okay, so this looks like it's going to hurt. I hit both of them? Not necessarily. Move here, that's 18 damage. Ouch. Alright, that's less damage. Grab that. Do we do this again? Maybe. That probably does a little bit more damage. This is still going to hurt, though. Ow. At least they're all threaded, so they get frostbite and burn. So I hit him with that. Grab another one of these. Hit him with that. And then all that remains is just these two guys. This one guy. That's better. Did hurt. Don't like that. But like, I don't know. Okay, so do we want to do extra damage on the threads? Maybe. Divine Touch inflicts Hex on Smiting. Maybe. Okay, and what do we want? First turn, 12 stacks of Shattered Will. That's okay. Vestige gains 10 physical damage for... Nah, we can do better than that. Alright, snag those. And do we want to grab Blink? I want to grab Restoration. I think we're going to need the health. Do we have anything else? No, I'm... I think I'm fine. If we go to the Vestigial Shrine, we can eat the the Liar's Dice. Okay. Yeah, eat the Liar's Dice on your turn. Eh, that's fine. We definitely need to get some more items, though. Well, Superior Vault should be a good start. Grab one of these, grab the Oozing Jellyfish. And this way we'll have two potions to play around with. Bloodthirst blend is amazing. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Because this is going to hurt. Next attack binding does double damage. If I just move out of all of this, it's not that bad. Pop 
both of them. He's not dead yet. He'll be dead. Did that vigor go away? Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, how are we doing this? I guess first question is first is how much damage am I actually taking? Okay, so far so something. Okay, so now we get controlled weaving. The one guy's dead. After enemy attack. After their attack. So they might... Well, I guess if I do this, that finishes them off. Might as well do it now. Hit him with that. And then we skadoodle. Still gonna take some damage. This is why I wanted to pick Restoration. Okay, so if I go all the way over here, only six damage. Could be worse. Do this. Blasto. Do we do another spread? Hard to say. Because this does the most amount of damage. Oh, right. Should heal self. And then let's go hang out in the safe zone. Oh, this is close. But shockingly fine. Okay, so how are we doing this? Spread the damage. Pick up another orb. Spread the damage. Who's actually directly hitting me? I think it was mostly just that guy, yeah? And we're good. And we don't want to do anything because he is going to charge at me otherwise, and that's going to hurt. And is now dead. Perfect. I like the idea of Gossamer Dream. It's good munch material and good damage scaling. And gives me Mythos. Like, if I can get four or even six Mythos, we're in a very, very good spot. So, I'll snag it. Um... I like the idea of the Alchemist Tool Belt. Yeah, I don't want to use this too much. So that's Curios, which are good. On your turn, one stack of Frostbite to all enemies, and it is a treasure hunter. So let's snag that, and we get an Augment. Each threat attached to you grants shielding. Let's go for that. That'll just keep me alive. And do we just go for the Vestigial Shrine? It is unbelievably tempting. Because if I munch Frozen Finger... Gets me better vestiges, but only if I can get it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Okay. Because one frostbite to all enemies is good. But not, like, super amazing, game-changingly good. Okay. Eh, let's see about uncommon augments. So reducing the cooldown is good. Upon defeating a threaded enemy, thread another enemy. It's fine. It's not amazing. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Threaded before dealing damage. Stitch can hit. 
non-threaded enemies. So this would actually add extra thread. I think I'll go for a threading constrict. And we need something particular. Actually, we might just want to grab Frito's mistake. Reroll. Well, you know what, I'll take it. Okay, because that, that pushes us up Storm King-wise as well. It's kind of wasteful, and I was hoping for another treasure goblin. Do we even have those on a boss fight? We do. Let's go. Okay, well, there that goes. And let's just run away. I'll take five damage here. Actually, did we grab the power orb just so I can heal myself? Yeah. Because otherwise we're going to be taking some damage here. Alright. Let's see about this. Let's see, which one of these works better? Uh, let's just do that. All right, move here, take a smidge of damage. It's not that bad. They get blasted. Should hit the boss for a decent chunk of damage. Boost myself with Divine Touch. One, two, three. All right, he's stunned out of it, and we're just gonna hang out right here. Grab the orb, heal self. Okay, mess them up. Get him with that, get him with another thread. Then we come over here. And I'll just wait, because we don't need that orb right now. Whereas we might need it later. Okay, so this is a bit messy. How much damage am I going to take if I'm right here? Not that bad. Snag that. Fort itself. Get him with that. Do we do any more? I get hit him with one more thread. And then I think we just hang out here. It's gonna do five damage to me, but it's not death. Thank you, bomb boys. And that takes him out. We're good. Okay, so damage for every thread attached to you, which is very good. Extra smite damage, which is great. Or cooldown reset to zero on the first two uses every turn. All of these are amazing. I think I'm going to go for the plus 50 smite damage, just because I don't use invocation much. Oh, and that doesn't heal me to full anymore. Ouch. Greater Restoration is tempting, but on being hit, reduce cooldown of Quick Men by one. I might as well. Okay, so we're in kind of an okay position. Hello there, Needless. So what do we do? Upon he being hit, if you have shields, smite the attacker. Tempting. Upon defeating an enemy, smite the nearest enemy. That's actually really good. I think we might want to just eat the silenced metronome. 
and the... Oh, do we not have anything giving me tre treasure hunter right now? We do not. So if I eat the... We could also eat the Gossamer Dream. No, I think I'll eat the Pulsar Belt and get that out of the way. Sun's Metronome isn't that very isn't that good. Okay, and we want to go back here. Villains Guardians do extra damage when brought below 50% HP. Not keen on that, but so many of my requests are just like do things. Anchor Anchor the derelict starship. How do you anchor something? So we're looking for augments or vaults. I think we actually oh, two rare augments or no, we definitely want to go this direction. I apparently have completed a quest. Wow, made some serious progress, actually. All right, so what are we looking for? I've got decent healing now. It's not amazing, but it's there. As usual, best thing I can possibly do is mostly just focus on killing this guy. Eight twenty, five twenty. Unfortunately, my damage is kind of low now. Okay, we're good. We get that. We are going to take some damage here. But that's okay. Because I got hit by a bunch of enemies who can heal up. The more of these I kill, the more random smites I can trigger. I was hoping would reduce my damage further. I guess I might as well thread to those two as well. It does not keep the damage off. This is going to hurt. There is no denying that. But I can kill both of them and then that guy. I might have been able to heal again. I don't know. I should have paid attention. It's fine. Um, da, 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 da. So what are we looking at? What do I need? I mean, Beat of Flame, we are doing some burn. Not much, though. Really, I'm looking for more smite damage, maybe? Or like another treasure hunter. Unearthed Relic is not terrible. On gaining shield, 20 Omni damage until end of turn. Up to three times per turn. So that's, that's good, just flat damage. Okay, turn start, full cost discount on all of these. I do appreciate that. I think I'm going to put it on prepared constricts, just because that's the one I use the most. And since I am taking a bunch of damage, let's go for that extra healing. Otherwise, I am going to die. Hmm... I guess we need to go to the lab. I'd like to consume another thing, but we haven't been that lucky. Not to be rude, but shouldn't you be out there looking? How goes the search? Yeah, I gotta find the opal slab, wherever that is. Oh. Okay. 
Armored Porcupine. Upon gaining shield, five stacks is spiked. Up to three times per, per turn. That's not terrible. But we're also not really using it. Scalding Half Charm is good, though. Burn damage now increases damage dealt by... Yeah, I'll snag that. And we still are missing the Korra key. Yeah. Unfortunately, every time I play this game, I'm kind of met with the realization that, yeah, I really should probably keep poking at this game. There is so much left to do and so many mechanics and functions, especially here that I haven't messed around with. Well, that is adorable drinking at must be in combat. Never mind. Upon being hit, smite this enemy. Lost upon ending turn. Okay. Oh, this stinks. Oh, okay, that doesn't stink as much. Now, here's where things get really tricky. Kind of. Triggers a bunch. Okay, heal self. Okay, that messes a bunch of them up. Spread the damage out. Do I hit him? Sure. I'll take some damage here. Enough that I can keep healing. Seems to be the, the real big stickler. Okay, I have an orb. Boy, that works. Can't reach it, but that's fine. Oh, I was gonna heal. I guess my fault. Uh, let's see. 90 damage in an area at a distance inflicts Inflict Threaded. Control Weaving gains Omni Damage. Or 75 damage in a cone. Inflict Threaded. Each attached thread grants plus 10 Omni Damage. Let's do Loom. I've never done that one before. Upon defeating an enemy for more than double their max HP, gain money. Big money. On your turn, gain one wolf. Oh, gosh. I I want the Bounty Hunter's Pistol. Don't get me wrong, but this is just way too good. On your first turn, all bindings gain crit charge. Oh, wait, no, that's not a legendary. It just has kind of a gold border to it, but no. And, like, health stimulant seems kind of good. But I think I'll do something else. Upon losing HP, gain Vigor, or just get the Bounty Hunter's Pistol. There. Now we got Hunter. What do we want to do? Because I could actually use some augments here. I'd like to maybe munch some things, but I don't know what I would munch at this point. So yeah, let's go get some augments. Prepared Stitch. Yeah, make it cheap. Pull enemies towards you isn't really that great for me. Extra HP and a shorter cooldown is kind of tempting considering how much I'm getting beans, but I think we're going to go for Mighty Invocation. 
Uh, let's see. Hard combat encounter. Grab a fish. None of these were potion based, were they? No. Yeah, so this is definitively harder than the last time. I think partly because Smite's a weird build. I guess I might as well grab this. Heal up. Um. No, that's probably worth it. Wipe them out. I'm mostly just trying to finish those off. We get a whetstone. Sick. I just realized there's a second one of these suckers. Then if we go over here, I don't take any damage. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill the second one here. I legitimately do not do that much damage. Yeah, fly on me. I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to get both. I do have a bunch of energy, though. I could have killed it. It's fine. Yeah, one more, one more turn would have done it. It's fine. That hits all of them. That hits all of them. Do this. Blammo. Wow, that works. On your first turn, all bindings gain that. I think that'll be fine. Or glyph globules. I can re-roll a bunch if I want to. Healing from restoration or its ascensions can overheal, granting shields instead of HP. I do like the sounds of that. We would also do Patchwork Stitch to give myself even more shield, which... I don't know, I think I might want to just do that instead. Uh, let's see, we do another one. Gain a ton of shield, constantly. It's tempting. Let's go for the free heal, though. Okay, and honestly, do we want to just go for the Augments? I've only got four slots left, though. We might want to grab something else. How are we doing financially? Amazingly. I want to hold on to Frida's mistake. We want to keep the Fountain of Creation. Scalding Half Charm is not that important. I can just get rid of it. I like the Unearthed Relic just because of a lot of power. We could eat the Gossamer Dream just to gain a little bit. main question is, how many more augments am I going to get over the course in this run? The other question is, how much do I need? I think we just eat. Okay, so let's, let's start by eating Gossamer Dream. It's not that amazing, but it gets us some extra enchanted, which is just more magic damage. And then we get to go shopping. Let's me buy another one. Um... Like the 50 damage, it's good. These are good. Uh, let's just go short cooldown on that one. 
So golden sails would be nice, but a little late. Uh, teeth on a string. I like, I like the idea of a lot of these. Tempest Wrath, though. Blessed Brickstones, buy. Upon critting an enemy, smite that enemy. I don't think our crit chance is that good, though. I'll do one more. I think we wait. So what are we at? Treasure Hunter 7. We'll probably want to replace it, but we can replace it later. I think we're I think we're just good. I think we'll just roll with this. Okay. And it's a mimic fight. But I'm in a very good spot for fighting the mimic. No, we want to hit these two. Probably heal myself. Okay. Can I hit all three of these? The answer is no. So let's let's start pummeling the egg sacks. Okay, then I'm just gonna park my butt right here. We take a smidge of damage, but hardly an issue. Bye. This is gonna hurt a smidge. Grab that. Like, I might be able to knock him out of it. Unfortunately, my threads don't do a whole lot of flat damage. Nah, it didn't quite. Oops, that was the wrong button. Eh, whatever, we'll just take the hit. There it goes. I mean, what, else, what am I gonna do? I guess I could've healed myself, maybe. Boy, that just free smite everything is unbelievably good. Yeah, not much else I can do, but that's fine. Yeah, any any of these little guys that just spawns thousand damage, man. I guess I should be leading with that one. All right, grab the orb, hit him with that. Uh, let's see, anything else? He's gonna be hitting me a bunch. That's not a problem, I have so much. Oh, does he just insta die? He does, insta die. I love how you can even see it kind of happen in advance. Stone Blossom, mm, nah, don't need it. Oh, and it's only of missing HP. Interesting. Inflict gaze on an enemy. Augments that affect divine touch also affect gaze. Augments that affect an ally now affect yourself. Two stacks of divine storm to an ally. Oh, Gaze is amazing. Grab that. Stylish treasure. We get drink. And we get an epic augment. I don't know, sure. Let's grab that one. We're just going to keep pushing Divine Invocation to do goofy damage. Because, yeah, now I can just gaze at something and uh, nuke it down. And I think we still gain some amount of Divine Touch, I think. We'll have to see if they're compatible. Alright. Oh, we only have one loot boy? One loot boy. Alright. Whoop!
Okay, spread the damage. Heal myself. Spread the damage some more. Yeah, do I just... I'll just eat the hit. It's fine. The box might barf up another unit, but it's okay. They get destroyed. Well, that damage so far is uh, feeling pretty good to me. Guess I might as well hit him with that. Yeah, if we can get that on crit, smite an enemy, we might want that. Main problem is right now I don't have a reliable means of smiting. Uh, let's see. Can I kill the dude? I can kill the dude. Oh. Eh, it's fine. On consuming an item in this combat, yeah, a little late. Double attack damage, no. Just flat damage resist isn't terrible. I have a lot of money. Upon using a magic binding, gain dawn, nah. Turn start, four stacks of poison to ten random enemies. That's okay. Otherwise, I could just go for Dunn's head. I think I'll get rid of the whetstone. It's not that amazing. Yeah. This one's tough, actually. Because upon defeating an enemy, smite the nearest enemy. It's not actually that good. Stage fangs. Ah, not useful for me. Ram max HP he is tempting, but I think we're going to go for cross stitch just for the flat damage. I guess I could have waited. Uh, let's see, which of these do we munch? I like the bounty hunter's pistol. And do we want to go for like just Dunn's head? Sure. Okay. Extra smite damage on your... <laughs> it's like the most perfect thing I possibly could ask for. Uh, let's see. On your turn, lose 1 HP, gain 10 Omni damage for every 3 missing HP you have. That's interesting. I don't hate that. Oh, but that only... That's in combat, not until the end of combat. I do like the idea of a second Blessed Brickstones. Uh, I get rid of. I mean, we're mostly just rolling down. Upon collecting an orb, smite everybody. I'm. Bye. And I'm out of money. That's frankly okay. I don't think I can go any goofier than this. So I think the only downside, eh, I could have maybe gotten a little bit better, but I'm going to be just screen-wide nuking everything every round, which, oh, right, I can skip these, nice. Okay. How do we want to do this? Yeet him into oblivion. Go for that. Get out of range of the fists. Oh.
I suppose that's just going to hurt, isn't it? Ow. Okay, so I've healed. Okay, if I'm lucky, they're going to punch the boss. But, like, maybe it's fine. These things just invulnerable. Cannot move. Invincible to bindings. Can only be defeated by runestone's hands. Oh, no. They're jerks. I'm actually not too bothered by this, though. I sh scale shields like crazy. My main goal is to just take no damage. Actually, as long as I'm not in the way of these fists, we're fine. I'll just wait. Oh. I still have more will. What am I doing? Alright, there we go. Okay, probably don't hang out in Lava Land. Move just like a little bit. Alright, knocks Runestone out. He's doing hand lasers. We're taking some damage. I guess we just kill time. Uh, sort of? Oh, you can just kill the hands. Which one of these gives me a bunch of shields? This one. No, that one gives me two. I guess I could have scaled a little bit more. Oh, well. I guess we'll just end turn. I'm functionally invincible at this point. I do like the changes that they've made to this. This feels better. Uh, let's see. Do we even do anything? Okay, now I've got him threaded. I will get him with that. I guess this is, this is just going to hurt, isn't it? At least we've got him out of the phase. Um, I guess that hurt me more than it helped me. Eh, worse things have happened. Okay, snag that. Spread these bad boys, heal myself because I am going to take oodles of damage. Thread the boss up because I guess he was not threaded. Okay. None of these. Oh, each thread gives me shielding. Yeah, could I go up here? I could. So. Oh wow, that's that's a remarkable damage difference. I guess I should probably keep doing that. Actually, I think I can just kill the boss by smiting him. I think this is one of the first times I've ever beaten him without really like trying to scale hitting him in the face with a fist. And uh worked great. That was a weird run. Smite is strange. But it works really well. And I think we did that in like only a handful of turns, so I didn't even get to really use the blessed brick stones quite as much as I wanted to. But that's that's fine. That is honestly fine. Anyway, I guess with all this said, uh, I might as well uh, repeat what I said at the beginning of the video, that Inkbound uh, 1.0 is out now as of a couple of days ago. And is also 40% off as part of the Steam Summer Sale, which I highly recommend picking this game up. I... It never quite gets the level of, like, credit it deserves on YouTube for how good this game is. And I think that always rankles just a little bit. Because it's like, no, man. Check this game out. It is so good. More people need to play it. But 
for now at least if you like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day then hit subscribe because i got tons to check out and show off but for now thanks for watching i'll see you next time